Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 9th. Thanks for joining us for Top Story today. Click the like and subscribe button below, then head over to the full World Watch show. Now, this is Top Story. This morning, the balance of power in Congress is still teetering. Polling held up for the House of Representatives, with Republicans picking up several seats so far. If the results continue to reflect that polling, the GOP will take control of the lower chamber. The Senate is too close to call, though. At the time of this recording, it was split 47 of 47. Georgia's Senate race is a prime example. Democrat Raphael Warnock led early, then Republican Herschel Walker stormed to the front before the race leveled out late in the night. If either candidate hits the 50% threshold, it's an automatic win. But if not, they'll head to a runoff. If that happens, we may not know who controls the Senate until December 6th. This same scenario played out two years ago in Georgia, also with Warnock. Not surprisingly, a few issues crept up early in Tuesday's voting. About 25% of Maricopa County, Arizona's vote tabulating machines stopped working. They were fixed several hours later, so Republicans there sued to keep the polls open longer. In Cobb County, Georgia, absentee ballots were requested, but never received for about 1,000 people. The ACLU filed a lawsuit to extend voting there. It's hard to draw any major conclusions from the results so far, but we do know politicians eyeing a potential run for president in 2024 did very well. Republican Ron DeSantis thumped his Democratic opponent by nearly 20 points, and Democrat Gavin Newsom won big in California. And although Donald Trump wasn't on ballots this go around, he still made news, teasing a big announcement on November 15th. Oh, Make sure to check us out at worldwatch.news forward slash free video. You can actually watch a show free for a week. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.